This question is about biodiversity. A farmer grows only wheat crops, has used all his small fields to make a few large fields, and cuts down trees in his woodlands to burn his fuel. What are two ways the farmer could increase biodiversity on his farm? So bio means living, diversity obviously means different, so different living things on his farm. You've got to tick two boxes. So what could he do to help? Well, cut down trees to grow wheat. Well, that's not going to help biodiversity. He's already got lots of wheat. Plant hedgerows around his fields. Well, yeah, absolutely. That would be good. Uh, plant many different crops in his field would also help as well because um, that obviously different crops are would increase the biodiversity because there's more of them, more different types of living things. Put fences up, no. Put fertilizer on his wheat crop, no. Okay. Students investigated the effect of cutting down trees in the woodland. This is the method used. They mark out a 10 by 10 meter area where trees have been removed, place a one meter by one meter quadrat at six random positions in the area, record the number of plant species present, record the number of invertebrate species seen among dead leaves on the ground, repeat steps one to four in an area where there are trees. Okay, so suggest one improvement um, that they could do. Okay, so what are they going to do? Well, they could, um, any improvement, the easiest way to make any improvement is to do more, is to find out more, um, yeah, find more results. So they could uh, repeat results, or they could do more quadrats. So take more readings, okay, using quadrats. That's an easy one. But whenever you're asked to, to improve something, one of the easiest ones is always just to get more results. The more results you get, the, the bigger the sample, the better. Uh, what else could they do? They could um, they could do do it run it at different times of the day, but ultimately they are again just do getting more readings. The students made this prediction: there will be more invertebrate species living in the area where there are trees. Explain why the student's prediction may be correct. Okay, it's worth two marks. So why do they think? Um, so why do they think there may be more invertebrate species? Well, where there are trees. Well, trees provide habitat, don't they? For a whole manner of living things. So for organisms. Okay, so they provide habitat. Um, you could say shelter would be fine, or food even, but habitat's probably the, the, the best one. So this means there uh, is more food and shelter. Okay, so we keep it there so we just need to have a reason. So they provide habitat for organisms, that's good. Uh, there's more food and shelter available from trees. It might well be that you've got those the other way around, that's absolutely fine, that's more of a description possibly and that's an explanation. Um, but the key bit there is you've got an idea, you've made a suggestion and you said why that matters.